I'm Marty Lafferty. The DCIA this week underscores our support for H.R. 3869, the State and Local Cyber Protections Act of 2015. The bill was introduced in the House of Representatives by freshman Congressman Will Hurd, who previously served as a CIA agent. The legislation, which passed by a voice vote on December 10th, requires the Department of Homeland Security to open the National Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Center to state and local governments that request assistance, either in shoring up cybersecurity or helping to investigate specific incidents. The center also would be responsible for providing cybersecurity training to state and local analysts upon requests. We laud this measure because it adds several requirements to the Homeland Security Act, which established NHS in 2002 and effectively broadens its scope to include other government entities. Importantly, the bill does not mandate the use of federal resources for state and local partners, but rather makes such assistance voluntary and upon request. State and local governments store sensitive data about their constituents, but often lack the technical capabilities to adequately protect it from cyber attacks. Upon request, this bill would support identifying system vulnerabilities and provide information security protection that would address unauthorized access to files hosted by state or local governments or their contractors. It will provide a new web portal for posting updated resources and guidelines related to information security. It will coordinate through national associations the implementation of data security tools to ensure the resiliency of state and local information systems. It will offer training on cybersecurity, privacy, and civil liberties. It will provide requested assistance to deploy technology to continuously diagnose and mitigate cyber threats and conduct vulnerability assessments. It will ensure that state and local governments are aware of DHS resources to protect the security of federal civilian information systems. And it will authorize vulnerability disclosures under standards developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. The bill now moves on to the Senate, and we urge you to contact your senators to request swift passage. Share wisely and take care. Thank you.